Good morning, this is Andrew Moore with the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, North Dakota, giving a winter weather briefing on October 9th, 2018. This briefing will be going over the possibility of some early season winter weather. The main points are shown here and include us. Main hazards being snow accumulation of 6 inches or greater, along with wind gusts up to 25 to 35 miles per hour. The main areas impacted will be across eastern North Dakota to northwest Minnesota. As far as timing, we do expect snow to begin very late tonight and last through early Thursday morning. And the main impacts will be reductions in visibility, a few down trees or tree branches, and maybe some isolated power outages. Here's a look at our current snowfall forecast. We do expect widespread amounts of 3 to 6 inches possible. However, locally higher amounts will be possible within this red circle. The reason for this is that we do expect a heavy snow band to set up somewhere across the region. This snow band could be anywhere from the Valley City to Grand Forks up to the Roseau Baudet area, or it could be further to the south and east, closer to the Fargo Detroit Lakes or Bemidji area. Really, anywhere within this red circle could see this heavy snow band set up. Along with the heavy snow, we do expect strong winds on Wednesday afternoon. Wind gusts of 30 to 35 miles per hour will be possible across eastern North Dakota, with wind gusts up to 25 to 30 miles per hour for northwest Minnesota. And it's really going to be where this heavy snow band coincides with these strong wind gusts. That's where we're going to see our greatest impacts. So this may be just a very narrow corridor a few miles wide, or maybe just part of a county. Here's a look at our current confidence levels going into this winter weather event. As far as snowfall timing and the winds, our confidence is fairly high. And our confidence is also high that snowfall will occur on Wednesday. However, because we aren't sure of the exact location of that heavy snow band, our overall confidence in the snowfall amounts is fairly low at this time. And as I mentioned, the worst impacts are going to be confined to a narrow area where the heavy snow and the strong winds are occurring at the same time. So because of this, our overall confidence on the impact severity is around a medium level. Although you may not see the worst of the impacts in your location, it's always a good idea to prepare for winter weather. Although travel may be impacted, it's really during the Wednesday afternoon and evening commutes where we will see the most impacts to travel. Because of this, you may want to consider putting a winter survival kit in your car. And you'll want to use caution if you're driving through areas of poor visibility. So here's just a summary on this early season winter weather. Our main hazards will be snow accumulation of 6 plus inches in a few areas, along with wind gusts of 25 to 35 miles per hour. Although eastern North Dakota and much of northwest Minnesota will see snowfall, it's really going to be a very narrow corridor that will see the worst of the impacts. Snowfall will likely begin very late tonight and last through very early Thursday morning. And the main impacts will be reductions in visibility, down trees or some tree branches, and maybe a few power outages. But again, this will be confined to a very narrow corridor where the heavy snow and the strong winds are happening at the same time. And this concludes this winter weather briefing. Be sure to check back for more forecast updates and have a great day.